MAGFEST BABY MAGFEST! Woo! It's gonna be so much fun, cannot wait. Your thoughts? MAGFEST, woo. Shut up, Dave. This is David Gansel, our pilot. And this is Nick, the guy who's doing the talking for some unexplained reason. Tell us something funny, Dave. Um, one time I saw a really funny- That was hilarious! I don't know, we're on 15 right now because Dave's GPS wants to take us through 95, but we don't want to take forever in New York. 95 is the devil. Is it? Is it now? 95 is for Nazis and Communists and anything in between. Okay. I'm not really going in with much of an agenda, I'm just looking forward to having a good time, meeting some, uh, some people I've known online for a while, meeting them in person, reconnecting with, um, let's see, uh, Mikey I've met in person before. I don't know if anyone else will be there that I've met before, but uh, but I'm, I'm looking forward to hanging out with fun people and basically enjoying the physical meat space geekery as opposed to the virtual geekery I'm so inclined towards. That's what happens when your car too long, or you know, for I guess 10 minutes we've been here, 20 minutes. Well, it isn't even happening anymore. Nobody really knows. We're not even out of our state. Oh no! This is not the George Washington Bridge. No, it's not. This is, as David said, the other bridge that we crossed before the George Washington. Yeah. New York is a city of bridges. Really? Yes, didn't you see Kate and Leopold? I actually did. That whole movie was Those about, signs about freak me out. The ones that are just like, any direction but this one. Right, left, pick. Doesn't matter. Any direction but this one. There's the Hudson, I think. I don't know geography, okay? Shut up, get off my back. I'm just trying to get a shot of the Hudson. Or am I? There's the Gwib Bridge. George W. Bridge. Riverside. Can you tell me where Riverside Drive is? That's John F. Kennedy Drive. Who the hell is John F. Kennedy? Now we're forced to commit to 95. And now you find yourself on 95. Entering 95. You will never find the more wretched hive of traffic and traffic. This is why we hate 95. Is it now? Look at this bullshit. Trucks, you mean? Yeah, trucks. I'm racist against trucks. Goodbye, GWB. Welcome to Jersey. All right, we are stopping for our first rest stop. It's the first rest stop on the New Jersey Turnpike, which is the one that has Burger King instead of Roy Rogers. A rest stop without a Roy Rogers seems a little bit sacrilegious to me. At least but, on the Turnpike. Oh yeah. Of course, that's where most of my rest stop experience comes from, I think. Yeah. Anyhow. I mean, visiting, uh, visiting family down in Maryland and Virginia, we would always hit the old New Jersey Turnpike. Oh, we did. I remember when I was blah, blah, blah. So yeah, first rest stop. I think not much interesting to add. Just this is gonna be a long journey. Yes, it is. Is this the Delaware Memorial Bridge? No idea. This is also not the George Washington Bridge, but it's a pretty cool looking bridge. Are we only just now leaving Jersey? Yes, we are leaving Jersey because, like I said- Because uh, isn't that really the goal in going to Jersey is to leave Jersey eventually? The sooner we get to Jersey, the sooner we can leave. Now we're in Delaware, the worst state for driving through because you always think it's gonna be easy and then it's not. It's Hi, we're in Delaware. You think it's gonna be so easy because it's so small, but guess what? 
There's way more traffic in Delaware than you. Actually, it doesn't look so bad yet, but I don't want to jinx it. The point is, every time I go through Delaware, there's always ridiculous traffic that make it the longest state to get through, even though it's the shortest state distance-wise. And you can take that to the bank. Let that be a lesson to you. Don't, Delaware sucks. Don't be Delaware. You think, oh God. This is a public service announcement warning all states in the area not to be Delaware. The GPS thinks we'll get there in less than two hours. We'll see. It's 3.35, it expects us to get there at 5.23. Yep. Is the GPS being needlessly optimistic? The autofocus really prefers the sunset outside your window. It needs to get its priorities straight. Well, the sunset is prettier than me. Yeah, but it's not saying anything. Except maybe you we look at me, I'm a sunset, which I don't know. Sunsets insist upon themselves, you know what I mean? It's like, who cares? It's colors, jeez. I'm kidding, I really like sunsets. I'm inordinately tired right now. We've only been in the car about four hours, but for some reason I'm just being Oh, 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 here comes oh. that Delaware traffic. And it's Delaware. Delaware. The I place really where traffic sucks and everything Delaware. is hell. That didn't rhyme. Delaware. I'm fucking blind and can't see what I'm doing here. You're not gonna sing a verse? I was gonna sing, but you cut me off and made it your own song. Sorry. But you didn't have to cut me off. Those are the only lines of that song I know. Something, something, and it's something number. Something like that, right? The word number's in there somewhere? I'm pretty sure. The, the word number pops up. I, I know bits it's, of it's, that song. It's, it's really like a math song. <laughs> I, I, I think it was a song that was originally written for Square Didn't One. Didn't have to calculus. Coming soon on three CDs and 68 eight tracks, it's the best of Nick Gansel not knowing the lyrics to songs. 525 something songs for the rainbow. I do not know the words to this song, but I'm singing like I give a shit cause people love it. Have you ever heard the wolf cry to the forlorn moon? Have you ever thought that Indians were weird? Have you ever been a racist Peter Pan bastard? Have you ever taken war paint that is smeared? Have you ever been to MAGFest in the setting sun? Have you ever blazed the trail with a gun? Have you ever wanted to be an Ethanfelian? Have you ever realized that you're fucking done? I don't know. You walking down the street Cause she's got such pretty feet And I something, something love you Cause I'm creepy stalker, won't you? Hello, I love you, let me jump in your game Hello, I love you, be disgraced with some shame Hello, I love you, I don't know how it goes Hello, I love you, let me play with your toes this little piggy went to market. <laughs> this little piggy stayed home. I can't count the reasons I should stay. One by one, they all just fade away. Funny. Well, that was fun while it lasted. Somewhere around there. montages in the history of television. Mm. Quite the bold claim. Maryland! We're in Maryland now! We're actually through Delaware in decent time! Who knew? We still got a ways to go though, so let's be bored together. This is my cosplay. This is my Todd in the Shadows cosplay. Am I Just ready? letting the sun set. <laughs> there. So that's David. Now I can't see. Now he's Todd in the Shadows. Right this, there. I'm using the power of the sun for my cosplay for Mad, for MAGFest. That's, that's pretty amazing. MAGFest. Harnessing not, the not power MAGFest. of the sun for a costume. 
I go all out with my cosplay. If Thomas Edison ever did cosplay, it would be shit like this. If Nikolai Tesla ever did cosplay, he I'm, would go as Magneto. I'm sure we would read an oatmeal piece about it. Oh, damn. I was trying to get a cool reveal shot of the sunset. And then the trees. And happened. it just, yeah. The trees fucked you up. Which was the original title of the uh, chapter where the ants march on Isengard. Yeah. And it was the working title for Macbeth. Until he realized, you know what, that ending doesn't quite play. Gonna take away the part where the trees fuck you up. <laughs> Let's go to Hollywood Casino. Yeah, knowing our luck, that'll turn out great. We rolled the camera and we're like, hey, maybe something funny will happen. And this is the shit that's going on. So <laughs> with, with that track record, yeah, we'll be millionaires by nightfall. So that was a fun detour. So the full story is uh, we finally hit the traffic that the GPS was promising us we would hit soon. The 12 minutes of traffic, which turned into 20 minutes. Yes. And so we finally hit that traffic and we're like, okay, as long as we're here in the exit lane moving past people, we might as well get off this exit. Cause look, the sign says gas this exit. It said gas, food, lodging, police headquarters. So, you know, we're thinking, okay, we need gas eventually. We're down to the, the last little court here. If it just says vague gas this way, never trust it unless it shows you brands. Because we went at least three miles down the road before we saw anything. You know, we looked at the left, there's like, oh look, there's a TA and a Texaco. It's, no, no, a Sitco, a TA and a Sitco, so we should be fine. We get in the left lane. That's when we noticed the Sitco has, uh, has a sign in the window that says closed for remodeling. So we're like, okay, well, no matter, we're already in the left lane. Look, there's a TA over there. We'll pull into the TA. Now, most TAs that I've seen along highways, they have gas for cars. This one only had gas for trucks. It was a truck stop and only a truck stop. Pretentious dicks. Yes, if there's one thing I associate with truckers, it's pretentiousness. So, needless to say, we drove around in circles for a bit and Basically, we probably could have made it all the way to the hotel on the gas we had, except for our detours trying to find gas. Now we're trying to find the way back on a highway. I don't even care if it's the same highway, as long as it points in the same general direction as uh, MAGFest. The, right the main Three. thing is, on. I'm sorry I said mean He's things to you, me. navigation robot. I should have trusted you all along. It told us we'd probably get there around 5.15 p.m. And now, due to what was supposed to be a 12 minute delay, it's saying 6.16 uh, p.m. And according to the GPS, we're still gonna be going through the same 16 minute delay, so. We'll see. I know I said I trust you now, but really, I don't really trust the GPS. I'm trusting it for directions, I'm not trusting it for delay. You're following it, whether you believe it or not. Yes, I'm following it blindly. I've joined the GPS cult even though I don't buy into all of the dogma. Ooh, ominous GPS. Back on the highway at last. Life is a highway. I'm gonna ride it all night long at this rate. Almost there. Well, we're in National Harbor at least. Speaking of T-Mobile. Um, and now we're just looking for the Gaylord. Really? Yeah, that's right. We went there. We went juvenile. Remind me never to have an affair there. <laughs> okay, get it out of your system now. Approaching destination on the right. Maybe it's this big purple hotel over here. Can't read that one. Oh, that's definitely a convention center. Oh, hey. We have arrived at MAGFest. One might call it... Inaudible? Fastic. <laughs> this hotel is bigger than most towns I've been to hotels in. Also, 
I'm pretty sure the inside doesn't match what we saw on the outside, so this is clearly the hotel from the shopping. <laughs> Boys, boys, boys. <laughs> Check out the digs in these rooms. Where? There. So yeah, this is apparently the hotel room. Get now I understand the prices we're paying. Damn. Get used to these walls, because you're going to see them in a lot of other people's crossovers. Yeah. Like that design? Too bad, you're stuck with it. When I saw her blonde hair that she could ever be that way So tiny and small, she seemed to have it all But she made me say, bitch, hey That ain't cool, I'm getting rid of Brita I'm getting rid of the B I'm getting rid of Brita She's gotta go I'm getting rid of the B Sadly, the CD does not have You'll be wiping off that ketchup with our wipes Hawthorne wipes You'll be wiping off that mustard with our wipes At the picnic 